everything about her and you can't help but to love. It has been an honor to be able to call her my friend, but my sister. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know this B, it's a girl Kyra B coming at you with a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Love Island USA Season 6, Episode 27. Let's get right into the video. So this episode is basically Movie Night Part 2. Like basically putting a conclusion on Movie Night. I just want to say Movie Night was a bit like a little bit underwhelming because it was basically the Aaron and Kayla diaries essentially. Um, so they did two more clips. The first they did three more clips actually so the first clip the guys were just winning all the questions like i don't think the girl i think the girls only won one of the questions that they were doing for the movie night situation but the guys basically won most of the questions so the guys picked gone girl first and gone girl was basically serena's clip where she was crying over cordell during cast and more and then cordell was over there you know getting with dia and getting to know dia and all that stuff so like to put that on a jumbotron to basically show the perspective of how Serene was acting at Ka during Casa and Cordell acting during Casa. Like Cordell's feeling a little, like really bad and feeling guilty how he was acting and behaving toward in Casa, you know. So fuck, I look fucking dumb. No. Did you no. say you look dumb? No. You know who looks fucking dumb? He looks dumb. Him and Aaron look dumb. They look like fucking idiots. So the next clip was i believe miguel's clip where it was leah marshall forgetting leah marshall and it was just him acting a fool during casa essentially like all the guys basically knowing that he's going to um you know get to know he's gonna bring a girl back for sure whatever him kissing on sierra and how you lose sierra so basically they were just like you know what like leah can't really say anything because she basically was saying how oh there's only two days you know with Janae and Kenny, so why is Janae acting like that? So Leah really reacts and stuff like that. You know, it, it just wouldn't look right because remember what she said, it was just two days. So she didn't really react, but you know, Miguel, he, he probably felt foolish because he was just like, why do I look like that? Like, well, I'm gonna just say this. Everything I did, well, I, think I that said I did. Not. It's just that seeing it is not good. It looked bad. Miguel, stop the joke. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, I'm sorry. Like, what am I doing? Because especially after how he ended things with Sierra now, so seeing him on the big screen, like, basically geeking over her is kind of, like, off-putting. So then the next clip was, I believe it was either the Challengers clip where Aaron and Daniela was kissing during the challenge and then they went to the shower and then after the the whole thing they still kissed they kissed him more they kissed in bed hugged in bed whatever he's saying all this stuff and then like it's just to hear and see all these things on a big jumbotron things that wasn't even like talked about prior like it's just like a big double whammy like it's triple whammy at this point so like Aaron was just getting exposed. I, like this was basically the Aaron expose, essentially. Like one after the other, you know what I'm saying? So Aaron, he tried to like downplay and say like, oh, I make mistakes, da 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 da. Like, you know, no one's perfect, whatever. So Liv obviously defended Kayla and was just like, you know what, there's a way of getting to know somebody without like ruining their experience or like having, like not being respectful about it and whatnot, and, you know? He trying to defend himself and whatnot, and it just wasn't looking right. Cause it's just like at, in this moment, Kayla's supposed to be upset. Like Kayla has a right to be upset. Why are you upset? Because Kayla's upset. So he ends up walking off and like going somewhere up by the dock. Rob goes after him. He sits at the dock, whatever. And essentially, you know, Kayla's supposed to be storming off. Like why is he storming off? Like it doesn't make sense. But anyways, you know, after that, he came back, essentially, after they cooled down, but movie night was over. Like, we didn't even get to see all the clips, so it is what it is. Like, Aaron, he feeling like, you know, he didn't do too bad in Casamore, but like I said previously, Aaron basically should have been like how Kendall was acting during Casa. 
You know what I'm saying? Aaron's been with Kayler since day one. Is Kane, I guess he feels some type of way that he needs to sleep outside. Like, okay, like you, you didn't have respect enough to tell Liv that, you know, you want to be on friendship thing. Then you talk to Sierra and then you don't even share about with Liv anymore. Like, like, like that wasn't really respectful, but you know, Liv has been through it you know, a time and time. So she kind of just over at this point, so she didn't really care, but the beds were basically empty, which they just kind of knew at that point, like, yeah, there's need to be a recoupling. Let's recouple ASAP Rocky. So the next day, you know, they were just talking about the whole movie night situation. So I guess Janae, I guess <laughs> she's talking, I guess she's like the biggest like Lee and Rob fan essentially, because this is not the first time she's trying to get Lee and Rob back together. Cause she talked to when Rob and her were chatting like earlier, she was telling Rob how Leah likes her, you know, likes him, da 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 da. Now she's telling Leah, you know, in the room, in the um the makeup room, how, oh Rob, you know, you and Rob are like, you know, are good together, let me their best comeback, whatever, whatever, whatever. So she also was talking about it with Kenny how like a lot of people are comforting Kayler, but people need to comfort Rob because you know Rob seeing that on the big jumbotron and then basically his reaction to you know you know how he feels alone in the villa you know at that time or whatever. Everyone's comforting Kayler. Why aren't we comforting Rob? Bro, that's the, what I was saying. That's why, yeah, Rob even that came up to me. That whole situation, no one has talked about it. I feel so bad because imagine seeing your best friend and the girl you're coupled up with obviously have crazy chemistry. It's like she doesn't like to see people down. She's very em like em empath or whatever. So obviously they go to her and stuff like that. Like Rob literally came up to her and asked her for a hug. You know, they hugged and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, just to see that and hear that, you know, people, she wants the people to comfort Rob as well because, you know, Kayla has been crying for days. Like, it's just too many tears over the whole situation that, you know, Aaron just really did her dirty in Castle more. Like, we're, we're kind of over at this point. Like, we're just tired of seeing that situation right now. It is getting tired. Um, Leah pulls Rob, basically apologizes for the situation, you know, tells her, tells him that, you know, it was just like heightened emotions that she really didn't like him at the time. You know, Rob was like, yeah, you know, I, I'm like, you know, I forgive you, whatever. Like, I don't think you're a bad person, all that, all that, all that. Um, Another big situation that happened this episode, Serena and Cordell, they actually finally have a chat. And in the chat, you know, they're talking about the whole situation. You know, he just wants to just, you know, start fresh with her. I do. I do want to continue things. So let's make it work then. I mean, you could have closed it off before you went back out. Is it this is too late. I'll do it right now. <laughs> I'm down for that. For real? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody else. Me neither. I want nothing but you. Looks like and then, you know, basically they closed off. They, they're they closed off. They're in a cup. They want to be in a couple. They want to be closed off, whatever. And after that conversation, like during the conversation, Janae was so funny because Janae wanted to make sure that, you know, how Serena doing, how that conversation going because, you know, Serena's basically her sister. Cordell's basically her little brother. So she just wanted to see how her, her people are doing. So she's like over here trying to stretch or whatever. And then obviously Serena can see that they're watching. So she, you know, once Serena checked, saw them, she was like, oh, Andy's coming. So Janae literally fell to the, the day bed. Like, oh my gosh, it was so funny. Like, Janae I don't want to make it obvious. So I'm just going to naturally yawn standing oh. up. Like, oh, it's evening. But, I, oh, it's cute. Look, laughs. Sit down. Sit down. Look at your name. Andy's coming. Janae is so funny. Like, you gotta, like, Janae's too funny in that villa. Like, she's too funny. So, it was, that was going on. And then after that, there was another conversation. Leah and Miguel actually have a conversation because Miguel was basically, he was getting the ick from Leah from watching that video. It was very obvious. And he also explained himself that he said, like, you know, his growing up situation, he's seen a lot of, like, those things where, like, you know, people are arguing like that or, 
you know, going off like that. And it, like, you know, in real life, he probably would have just walked away from that situation. But, you know, he can see that Lee is actually growing. You know, she can see, you know, like, you know, try to apologize for her actions or whatever. So they made up, they're on good terms, whatever. There's that. Um, also, we have this whole Danielle and Rob situation. Rob was basically feeling like how Danielle's kind of playing him in a little bit. I'm just like, how does you not see how Aaron was getting to know Danielle so well, kissing Danielle all the time, whatever. And then at the last showers of Casamore, the last day essentially, she just like, like pivots to you and you guys just hit it off and you bring her back. Like, how could you not see that was a bit weird before movie night? But anyway, from movie night, her him seeing it on the Jumbotron, he kind of feel a little weary of Daniela. So he was kind of like, you know, trying to take a step back. And he even had a conversation with her and basically was like, you know what, let's, let's, let's slow down. But I feel like, I mean, probably ever since Andrea, he probably is not really feeling it with anybody, essentially, like maybe besides Leah, you know, that was his only real connection in there. So, but it is what it is. So then we get to the big thing, which is the recoupling. Ariana comes into the villa while everybody's like getting ready, whatnot, this, that, and the third. And she basically comes into the villa. Everybody's shocked, surprised, because the last time they saw her was literally casting more recoupling, which was like three, four days ago. So like, like I said, we're like basically two days behind from the villa, essentially, because move, if movie night was three nights ago, if movie night was three days ago from Casa and more, and then we're on the next night, this happened in a span of four days. Four days, okay? Which is like wild. So they have a recoupling, and you know, the first person was in the, um, you know, the boys get to pick who they want to couple up with. Ariana says that this is a good recoupling, the boys are going to choose. And then since there's basically 17 people in this villa, 10 girls, 7 guys, 3 girls are going home. So the boy who went first was Kendall. He gives a speech to Nicole. Basically says that, you know, they're closed off, going into next level, whatever. You know, obviously this is the same couple that came back to each other from Castle Moore. So it was very obvious. The next person who did a, a speech was Kenny. My people, these are my people, okay? Kenny, Ken, like I'm on the Kenny, like that's my people, right? So, like before the speech, I guess they know the order of where, what the boys are going in or whatever. So, Kenny was next, and you know they're like, you know, he's in, he's on, he's focused, whatever. He goes up, and he gives Janae such a sweet speech. He's just like, you know what, ever since he stepped in the villa, he was looking for someone who was mature, ambitious, smart, da 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 Like, that's a real woman right there. He then talks about, like, you know, how she is in the villa with people. Basically, like, really talks about her and her personality and her strengths and her character or whatever. And then he just says, like, how, you know, he she makes him feel like he's nervous and giggly and, like, how they are in the villa. Butterflies, giggly. You know, I'm always smiling when I'm around her. I always want to be next to her. We're real touchy. I have really never felt this nervous around a woman. And when she comes down those steps every night, I just have to admire how beautiful she looks. <laughs> and whatnot and i'm just like bro everybody was geeking about that speech everybody everybody was just geeking like all the girls were just like oh my gosh like because they really didn't expect that from kenny like that like if they you don't really hang out with kenny you wouldn't know because kenny doesn't really speak like that he's very like not gonna speak to you so this like even ariana was like gagged she was gagged so obviously he chose to couple up with janae and you know, Ariane basically was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know Kenny was a poet. Like, he really, sp he like, and then he said, like, I just spoke from the heart. Like, oh my gosh. So, like, that's my people. Kenny, like, people are talking about, like, the end game of this show because we do have to vote for who we like to win. 
And like I said, Janae's my girl since day one. And I'm just gonna vote for Janae and her, her person. Like, I'm my second, like the next best thing after Janae and Kenny would be Serena and Cordell for sure. You know, the next person after that was Cordell. Cordell went after Kenny. And he was just like, I have to go after him, like, you know. So he basically just like spoke and he just spoke real. Like you can tell that Cordell is not speaking from a script. He w never has been speaking from a script. Like he really just like said what he was feeling. He just said that he's falling for Serena. Like he ha she has him in a chokehold. Like, so he's just that he just wants to be with Serena. And it's just like, you know, after everything that happened in those past four days is kind of just so sweet to see they're coupled up like he just likes that he like people will think that he'd be off like he's basically off put by like her yelling at him and whatnot but he really really likes serena so yeah that was really sweet you said you were fine man get off me <laughs> So then after that, you know, just when he basically went down the line, Kane, he coupled up with Sierra, but just felt like, okay, like, what are you doing? Like, you were lucky that, you know, Liv brought him back, but like, mm -mm, like, it's just so dirty, like how he's just doing Liv, like Liv didn't do anything to him and it just kind of like, he's trying to like make Liv feel like the bad one in the situation, but he coupled up with Sierra um and then miguel he couples up with leah and it kind of like looks like maybe rob was upset i don't know but he probably was probably upset that he knows since he's the last guy to um couple up with he's going to send one of his friends home so in that sense he couples up with daniela which is kind of like you just told daniela that you want them to slow down whatever and now you could have easily just been in a friendship couple with Liv, but you decided like, okay, well, maybe since it's end game, you're gonna pick Daniela just because that's the person that you see a romantic thing with. But I was like, you were trying to spin the block on Liv, so I'm could I'm confused, like what? But I mean, it is what it is. Um, he coupled up with Daniela, so that means that Daya, Catherine, and you know Liv is going home. So the, all the girls, like basically in the villa, all the OG girls, basically girls from, you know, Casa, pre-Casa, you know, which is so upset. They were just crying. Like this was like probably one of the saddest dumpings. Like the shocking dumping was, was you know, when they dumped Andrea, but this was the saddest dumping. Like dumping Liv, Liv been there since basically night one, night two. Like, and she's really been, like a friend to all the girls as like it just really has so she gets dumped from they get dumped from the villa all the girls are sad all the girls are crying because that's really their friend well which means you are single and dumped from the island i'll leave you to pack your suitcases and say your goodbyes thank you the rest of you i'll see you all very soon like Janae and Liv, like even though Kayla and Liv are like the blonde duo, Janae and Liv are like another duo. Like every night when they come down the stairs, they're always holding hands. Like even tonight's episode, like they were sitting next to each other during movie night, and you know, <laughs> Janae literally is, is like laying down on Liv while Aaron and Kayla are having their issues or whatever on on the offside. But like Liv is gone, and it's just so sad because she's been a real like a real one. She's really been a real one. Like she's, you know, she came off a rocky start with the whole situation with the whole Rob, whatever. But after that, she's been a real one. I love you all. I love you all so much. It all goes down, losing my ground. Like you can't really deny that she's really been. She really stood up for her girls. She really rock with them like she's been a real one it's so sad to see i feel like this dumping should have been all the cast of girls no offense but it really should have been all the cast of girls being gone like no tea no shade all the cast of girls been should have been gone Liv should not be leaving with the cast of girls because don't it does not make sense like i'm surprised kane switched up picked sierra and then he could have easily rob could have easily saved Liv. 
you know, because he, he knows his heart is not in it with Daniela. Like, why would you pull up with Daniela if you know you want to take a step back? Like, please be so for real. But it is what it is. You know, Liv is gone. And two of the Catholic girls are gone as well. And it is what it is. Next thing you know, Ariana comes back into the villa after they leave. And she basically introduces Harrison from last season. So Harrison is in the villa. And with that being said, she tells the Islanders that, you know, there's going to be a text tomorrow. And, you know, in that text, you know, don't get too comfortable. So my ideas of what's going to happen is that Harrison, at the end of the night, he's going to choose a girl to couple up with. So if the girl being coupled up with, he's going to send somebody home. And then they're going to bring in Cassie. But they were like, how do you bring an Australian guy into the villa, but you just sent home Liv? Like, how do you bring an Australian guy into the villa and you just sent home Liv? Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Liv was just there. You sent home three girls because there's no, there, it was an odd number of people in the villa, but you're sending home a, a male bombshell. You could have, somebody could have saved Liv. Australia and Australian could have been together. Like, what's going on here? But now they're going to do that little twist means that Harrison's either going to couple up with somebody and whoever is single gets sent home. It's kind of like, basically, if you're keeping up with the UK Love Island right now, um, new bombshells, Josh and Ruben came into the villa. So Josh coupled up with Mimi and then Ruben, he decides to couple up with Uma. So with that being said, that left Will single and with Will being single, he got dumped. But other than that, that was the episode, episode 27, Moon Knight was pretty underwhelming. But, and Liv is gone, which is really sad. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, like the video, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, you can subscribe to my channel, subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Peace.